What up, Sneaky? Hey. It did, was, did you uh... see Portillo's tweet in the discussion on Twitter? I was talking about that earlier. Uh, I think I did. It was like, shouldn't pay as much if they don't do anything. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty much part of why you're a pro. Like, like it doesn't feel great as a player to do it sometimes, especially if it's like being spammed too much and you're like trying to focus on like getting better and you're just getting like dragged away for content a lot. But yeah, I think in total, like, the concept is correct. Like, I, I think just, I don't know, in, in like a a good amount from the team, I guess, is the the problem. Just balancing it. Because if it's too much, then it's like, yeah, I mean, I signed this contract to play on this team and do content. But, like, if I'm just fucking s surrounded by it the entire time, it's kind of cringe. Yeah, I was saying, like, I think player salaries are giga inflated for some reason. And, like, it's fine to add brand value to players' contracts. But what I didn't like was the thing saying, like, oh, yeah, like, being a pro player, like, practicing all day, every day, that's, like, the bare minimum. You should be going, like, you should be doing way more than that. Like, <laughs> like your own personal brand. I'm just like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I and, mean, like, performance does come first. So I think caring about that is way higher than doing the content, but I, you definitely need both. Like, you can't just only do the pro play thing. Like, you sign the thing to be on the team, you go on the team, you show up for practice, and then, you know, you show up for your games, and that's kind of it. Like that That is definitely way too little. You definitely have to do some stuff. But not too much, because too much is overbearing. Too much. Cringe. Yeah, I mean, I, I just I don't think it should be, like, the expectation as a pro player that, like, you have to do all these things. Like, I think it's a good idea to you, for sure. It's going to help you in the long term. But saying, like, every pro player should be doing these and the pro players who aren't doing it are, like, uh, for whatever reason, like, you know, below the normal, I think it's weird. Mm. they're like underachieving if they're not doing those when in reality it's like some people literally just want to play league and I think it's fine to reflect that in their salary and whatnot. yeah I, I guess yeah that, that does make sense like you would just get paid a whole lot less if you're not willing to do content I don't remember what year it was but there was a year where like the average salary in the LCS was like 400,000 or something and I'm like most players are not worth anywhere near that yeah I think it's really troll like specifically around like imports i think imports like you know I, I like perks don't get me wrong but like there's no fucking way he's worth 12 million or whatever they paid for him like that is just insane and it's not even on the players for that it's on the orgs so, yeah I mean, that kind of money is just fucking ridiculous yep or even the like hoony back in the day like was it two million or something yeah just absolutely not worth it like that's where they should have just gone to fucking whip out some local NA player if that yeah. was their only option like Honey definitely wasn't even bad when they were picking them up at that time for 2 mil but like <laughs> it's not 2 million dollars worth <laughs> yeah exactly it's just like I want LCS to be sustainable something that's like growing and feels more natural as far as like you know Play, like people's interest in it and what the players are making and whatnot but like when you start just inflating the fuck out of the salaries to like hopefully have a good split or whatever and every team's doing this it's like that shit's gonna collapse at some point like that's not real at all yeah just stealing fucking investors money or some shit <laughs> and they're like wait a sec where's my money going yeah these investors who like don't know anything about esports get fucking conned into investing way too much money then the teams use that money recklessly on certain players they think will give them the best chance of winning they don't win and the investors are just like oh esports is not the future <laughs> it's like real fucking troll
Like, you just mean when you spec... Like, I, I went the mage thing and I started specking into lightning. You mean like that, or is it something more? Uh... Hold up. There's a gank happening. Summit. Summit? Oh! This is the weakness of Cho'Gath. He's fucking gone. Very Should've just put Cho'Gath bot, man. Speak it, don't recall, stay. Stay! <laughs> what do you have killed? Let's see. Oh, he walked the fuck up. He was actually dead. Why would you not? It's frozen. What's he gonna do? Huh. I guess, like, the... the the reason you wouldn't go for this regain is if you think there's a good chance Lee's there. It does become kind of mind gamey, right? Yeah, Lee could be there. Or actually, wait, he has a warden him. He sees him going down from Raptor. Not likely to be there then. Maybe someone wasn't fully tracking that. That was yeah. kind of short. Or, like, the, the other thing would be if you want to, like, make sure Lee... Because if he full clears and starts taking your bot side, like, it, it would get weird for your bot lane. You don't really want to leave, like, Lucian Nami unprotected against an Aphelios threat. True. I don't know. I feel like I would have gone for the regang. We definitely could have. I mean, it legit worked right there. Just looking at it to see if the summit would walk up. And no Lee. It was definitely yeah, an angle. Like the, the first death like that is top lane, like it's unlucky, but it doesn't actually really fuck you that hard. But if you instantly get reganked and die, like your game is fucking over. Yeah. Especially because the wave was pushing out. Or even extremely chunked, like he doesn't even have to actually die. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, fast cleanse. oh not fast flash though. That was a wow. good delay from Yeon. What, to like... Oh, did, did he root? Which he, is why he, Prince couldn't flash. Well, no, yeah, like he instantly could have rooted, but he just held it. Like, mm. he kind of waited a bit. And then he ended yeah, up I mean, Prince cleansing it. Have, like, cleansed flash though, right? Well, it was like right as Lee came in, he rooted. Mm. On, like the same instance. Replay it. Let me see it again. Probably will. Like, if I was playing that, I probably would have just rooted pretty quick. Lucian would have had a way bigger opportunity to survive. But, like, obviously be 1 HP. Oh my god, Summit Butthole. Oh, oh. I guess impact butthole now. Jungle diff. Damn. Impact was playing pretty fucking aggressive there. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Wait. Hmm. Why did they? They must have been respecting jungle. That was absolutely a kill if they committed. But he didn't want to get double bubbled. I believe. Thoughts on Harry Airy Ari. Harry Airy. Shut your dumb ass up. Wait, Yon fucked up. He forgot to build a noon quiver. He went BF sword. He's used to the old items. Dude. I mean, Ari taking Ari is pretty weird, but... It's, I mean, it's not heard of. Like, some shit you see Chovy do in a melee matchups. I think Zekka did it. Someone in Gap the fuck out of him at Worlds. Uh-huh. It's not the, her standard rune, but it's not, like, unheard of either. Like, it's pretty good in lane, especially yeah. with melees. True. Sums are up. This is so awkward, bro. Like, <laughs> both teams know the jungler's there, too. It's like, just how's it going to go down? Oh. Oh, my Wait, God, he lives. Just got six from waiting. Holy shit, Spigot's going to have to flash out. Oh. Wait. Damn. Holy shit, Core almost Yell's died. actually playing this quite fucking clean. Prince getting murdered? 
You know, if you're hitting the tier two, Demolish will do a fuck ton to it, like for sieging. It does do a lot of damage, and it scales off your uh, HP. Whoa, really? That's crazy, Sneaky. Yep. C kind of top lane specific. Top lane support. Oh, yeah, but the. I think they. Oh. 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 He going ride. <laughs> Yo, that's fucked up. Holy fuck. Nothing he can do. Actually, disgusting angle. Yep. Commonly referred to as being stalwart. Yeah. Bro, have you showed that to someone who hasn't played League in a while? Holy fuck. Yep. Actually, the freakiest mechanic. Legit get kidnapped. Oh my. Wait. Oh. Prince? Damn, dude, Piosek's actually going kind of giga on Lee Sin. Mm hmm. Pretty impressive. That was so suicidal. From By Prince? Lucian, yeah. Oh, I mean, he had to. <laughs> That's a good point. Because honestly, like, obviously for this game, it wasn't a good play, right? Like, that's probably not going to help them win. But when you're in spring split, you have to think, like, my team thinks playing top side, like, strong side top is a good idea. Let me teach them a fucking lesson. Let me show them what happens. Yep. I think Piosik should, like, especially that Nami kill, like, you definitely give that to fucking Philios. If it's so guaranteed dead... You don't take that shit as a Oh my god. Dude, it was just off a of Q. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, Q then he W'd. Yeah. The Q yep. sets up in, in, in the fact, fucking Asante's old. pretty clean. Disgusting. Prince says, yeah, I, I can weak side. Don't worry, man. Keep playing top. <laughs> yeah, I think we win from ganking Cho'Gath here. <laughs> Opportunity, even the smallest one, and jump in and make them happen. Harry's doing the DPS RE. He's got Leandri cooldown boots, not only trying to one shot. DPS RE. Shredding the tanks. Oh, okay. He'll probably just wants to piece here. Don't really see a good reason to stay around. They oh my one. god. Chogath's oh. in a flank. Oh, it's Big over. Dikla hath been eaten. Oh my god. Impact going in. But he's dead. Oh, Chogath's actually too broken, I fear. Wow. Wow. That went TL's way. That that looked so sub. But dude, it just comes back to like, what do they have against this Cho'Gath? Like, he's actually just sitting there fucking in the middle of five people. And I like, mean, yeah, Lucian, I hit that guy. Lucian's so behind. This game is pretty fucked on that, I think. Not like he would be killing the Cho, but... Is Prince going to be another case of the being North Americanized? <laughs> Losing his first split buff. Doesn't sound like a buff. What do you mean? Is an import your first split in North America is absolutely a buff. <laughs> oh. I, I see. Misunderstood what you said. Oh, that's because you're stupid. So, like, can. I feel like Fly can just turn on Cho'Gath here if they want to. <laughs> but, like. Vikla ends up way too deep. They don't really do any damage to Cho. Spika gets banged. Yeah. Prince ults Thrash. <laughs> Lucian just gets fucking cleaned up at the back. <laughs> Very sad game for Prince. Wow, Ari built damage. Kind of. 
in the 1v1 still. Still that plus 30 CS. I'm actually fine with this Ari build. I have no issue with it. overshadowed because of the attention to the side lane. Yep, I think it's fine. Impact eventually might be I think it usually is Ari you are not ever going to have enough gold to like reliably just one shot people and if you try to one shot them but can't you're not that useful bye bye wow, summit. summit is just giga cod 420 for impact and summit's not going heart to steal he's just going jack show i mean that's also fine don't have the same kill pressure but for some mistakes from the TL side. And there was always I think uh, I like that variation if they have a lot of like percent damage champs. But that's definitely not the case here. Like they have almost none. Cassante barely does any. Sejuani does a little bit. Vilas has none. Lucian has none. What the fuck? Oh, big dickla. He's so weak with these items, dude. I feel like he's actually not going to get strong. Like, Rod of Ages plus Merc Treads, you're just a tank at that point. Oh. Chogath just walking Summit away. One, lose Ed. Just kidding. Can't lose Ed. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my God, Spiek gets down there. Buff jungle. Murder. Oh, Piosik has the Q. Does he do it? Do it, do it, yes! <laughs> wow, he really did it to him. My man, my man's high risk, low reward. Took the QWs out, baby. Very Sigma. Impact is a world champion. Piosik is a world champion. Ooh. I actually missed how that all started. Did you see? No. He tried to kick Vikla initially, but oh, he lost yeah, I, in the yeah. bush, so his kick canceled. I saw that at the Hits very the beginning. <laughs> then Vikla fucking chained into him. Like, if Vikla doesn't go in, he can't die there, and he just gets fucking kick flashed in, and Lee can get out with the Q. Yeah. Oh, shit. I mean, they have Cho to secure this, but... Oh, dude, that, that's another thing that's, like, absolutely insane with Cho, with, like, how easy Baron is, having that secure. It's just... Redonkulous. Oh, my God. Oh my goodness. Speak Kyosik is having a fucking game, dude. Actually playing really well. Speaky took the fucking hex gate behind Baron. Trying to get a yeah. good position. That shit's actually super good. Both sides. Not just jungler. But like, yep. fucking... Your team's kind of choked out. Getting behind the pit. It's actually nuts. I'm a big fan of hex gates. Yeah, I think they're actually underused on like this one, like this side of the map and the side of the map. Are yeah, they? yeah, like I mean, this. I, I only really ever see people use them in, on the hex tech maps in Arium. <laughs> it's like, oh. yeah, I guess you're right. Most games people don't use them at all. Oh, Ooh, Harry! Oh my God, Harry goes down. Do they have enough to kill anyone else? Though I don't think so. They're kind of out of damage, out of juice. Where is the juice? Uh-oh. Oh, he kicks him out. Vikla has been taking Ariel mostly. I mean, the ults on TL are fairly mid. I think Cho'Gath is pretty good. Cho and Ari are really the only ones you would look at. Maybe Lee. He's trying to be cheeky. A cheeky blinder? A peaky blinder? Cheeky fucking blinders. The peaky fucking blinders. The peaky right. man. What can FlyFam do? Wow. Oh my goodness. It's actually fine. Fucking Lucian's useless for that Nami. I mean, he uses Flash fine though. For who? <clears throat> Fine for TL for flash kick the support in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, solid. That's all the rewards gone. Going to put a lot more pressure on actual Baron. Oh, they don't have a pink on Baron. This is like such a troll mistake that actually ends up being pretty big. Yeah. 
It, just, it gives them so much time where it's like, uh oh, they need to be checking, but they're not. Oh, oh, wait, he interrupted the show. Eat. Oh my god, he still got it. Oh. Holy fuck, Piosic smited a fucking Baron for the first time. Who is ever. this? Guy? This is absolutely not Piosic on the computer. This guy's going giga as fuck. Prince's butthole. Oh. Oh. Wow, he gets caught. That looked fun. He's just fucking dead. Nah, but dude, I, I'm I'm calling it now. I kind of said it on the LCS broadcast last week, but like, I think Cho is legit OP as fuck. I think it's something you need to absolutely take into account when you're drafting. It's like, I don't know if, you, if he's blind pickable, because I think he could have some like... Pretty scuff matchup. Kazante is the the chill so countering like, I think him. It, you you also shouldn't blind something where you're gonna let them just chow. What was that one guy you put against? Out of him. This show oh, the set. Set, yeah. Yeah, he, I mean, that was rough. I don't think I played it particularly well, but that that did seem like a pretty good pick in the show. Mm -hmm. uh, Fudge said Fiora is the worst matchup for Cho. Might be right. Yeah, that one sounds pretty bad. But, like, the thing with Cho is, like, you can legit just Q-Max on him and, like, oh. farm from ranged, even in bad matchups. A little Very bit. Hard to deny. Dude, look at Prince. He's just frontlining with one HP. He doesn't give a fuck. Oh, my God. This man's is saying we oh either win this fight God. or get me out. <laughs> Everybody's dead. Jesus. GG. Wow. Fly legit getting milked. That's insane for TL standings. Legit best game of the split for Piosic right here. Actually, they're, 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 they picked a hard to execute comp and they executed the shit out of it. It's a mm -hmm. good look for TL. Actually, big win. Yeah. Definitely way more what we expected out of TL. Yeah. I mean, dude, I, I will say, though, like, I think no, Andrew, thank you. with all the nerfs and stuff, like, I'm not a fan of Lucian Nami. Mostly for the reason that, like, so... You mean even though it's been played a billion times, the split? Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. like, I, I don't think... Okay, so I don't think it's horrible, but I think it's probably over-prioritized because it has weaknesses, which is, like, going back to this, like, I really feel like after this early gank top, they could have just actually fucked Chugath out of the game. Like, uh -huh. I think most top laners are not as punishable as Chugath, but like they had the perfect level three gank into a frozen wave. But it's just the case of like, I'm trying to think like, why didn't Spika stay? Like, he obviously had a reason for it, and I'm wondering if it's just like you can't really just leave Lucian Nami unattended against the Thresh lane, right? Like. You kind of have to match their jungler if he goes down there. Like they're yeah. really gankable if they step up, and they're really diveable if they let the way push to them. And you're saying because it's Lucian Nami, like, yeah. Like I, I think you other don't, you bot don't have to cover. Yeah, like, I think other bot lanes are not as fuckable. Oh. I think Lucian Nami is like very. They're fragile. so fuckable. I mean, Nami especially. <laughs> Like, Thresh is just going to get up in that with his big, long hook. Oh. So they know Lee's bot side. Bot wave actually even has the crash. Like, they can just let this pull. I'm, for the life of me, I cannot understand why no regang. Yeah, it, it looked good. I So the only other thing I can think, if it's not that they need, wanted to go bot side, is that they expected Summit to be a human and not just walk up because he is Cho'Gath. He could literally just rupture the bush if he thinks there's any danger. It's just like a he shouldn't walk up and kill himself. Yeah. Like just giving him the benefit of the, of the doubt. Yeah. Fucking Jack just tweets, did we just witness a win trade? Fly selling playoff spots? <laughs> <laughs> that's Dude, yeah, that's what I said. It's fucking huge for their standings. Oh, yeah. That's like, real fucked for TL, isn't it? Or not TL, 100 Thieves. Yeah, yeah. They legit need, like, the biggest turnaround this week, or it's just fucked. I talked to Doublelift a bit after 
their games on Friday. In studio? Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Like, on Discord. Oh, okay. I didn't see him at the studio. He didn't leak anything yeah. juicy, but I just told him he, he has to beat my record of week three summer <laughs> before getting kicked. He said that's his goal. <laughs> Wait, true. He is out of 100 thieves, huh? <laughs> <laughs> They've got that boot ready. It's actually weird, Dude, too. I, I, I almost, like, always had good results when I was 100 Thieves, too. Mm hmm Those are weird as fuck times, for sure. Yep. I swear, bro, if 100 Thieves just picked up Sneaky like I kept told, telling them to, we would have been unstoppable. Smoked and rolled the whole league. Yep. Fucking Sneaky. Just didn't mm -hmm. want to play with me. <laughs> yeah, it was me, guys. I denied it. Licorice and Six had a good conversation about playing on bad teams on the dive this past week. Oh, interesting. I'd, I'd like to listen to that. I feel like I still learned a lot, even when I played on teams that weren't that good. About, like, maybe I didn't learn a lot about the game, but, like, I feel like I learned a lot about working with teams and even, like, some of the things that can make players not as good. Like, some of the habits I saw from working with like, you know, lower tier players. It will, it wasn't what I expected. Which habit? I think the biggest one that surprised me was like, I was expecting people when I like mostly joined optic, right? It's like joining a lower tier team and even like FlyQuest Academy to some extent, I expected the teammates that I was joining to be like, you know, really open-minded about working with me. Cause I'm like, a, I'm not even like trying to like ego or like suck myself off here, but it's just like, I've had a lot more success than they have, right? Like. I've played internationally a lot, like, I have a lot of experience, been on good teams. So I thought they would, like, you know, hold my opinion highly, but, like, they didn't really. They kind of just, like, dismissed it and, like, thought they were, like, really confident on how they thought to play the game. And, like, we're trying to make me change to them. <laughs> and I'm like, huh. Like, this is weird. Like, I'm, I'm going to try to, like, you know, do, do what it takes to win. Like, I'm, I'm going to try to work with people, but... It's not what I was expecting. Yeah, we got a Belkos mid. Oh, fuck. Let's go. That's Bolulu's champ. I think Belkos is a dog shit champion. I will say that. I Like, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll preface it with it. I think it's cool when someone's good at Belkos. He's, like, an impressive champion when he's played well. But I think he's fucking terrible. Strength-wise, compared to everything else. So... His damage is like does. his damage is too unreliable. This is the problem. Yeah, I mean, like you, you can stop watch or flash and invalidate everything he's done. Mm -hmm. Ten percent win rate in R, by the way. Oh, he has to hit his Q to actually do something. Real cause. Yeah, and I mean, e even that's unreliable. Like, yeah, you gotta like land good poke, and he's just so counterable by everything, man. Like his ult can get canceled. He's immobile he doesn't really have percent damage like he's cool i i think the way he plays is interesting but like I, he needs something better like i think his w cooldown is like way too long for an ability that useless mm -hmm. and i think he he needs like some percent damage on his kit like i think any of those immobile mage type characters like ziggs velkaz brand or whatever like those should be like giga dps machine champs if to make up for like how fucking slow and killable they are. I mean, Velkaz has true damage. That's. Oh man, I, I was gonna say that's true, but like I can't. He's true again. It's fucking doomed. That's right. Uh, but like that's not actually enough to kill tanks. Like you kind of need percent damage. Which I don't think he has any of. Any champs that are just pure flat damage, like I don't know, gonna have scaling problems unless you're like real ahead. I mean. I'm happy to be proven wrong. Like, I would love to see Bolulu just fucking pop off in 1v9 as Velkaz. That would be really cool. I don't think it's likely, but it would be cool. He did say Zoe and Velkaz were his comfort picks. What did you say? Bolulu did say Zoe and Velkaz were his comfort picks. Oh. Or, like, I don't know if he said that, but that's what they said in the Emily Rand thing. The draw me life. Those are hard fucking champs, dude. And not yeah. even that strong. Zoe's way more one-trickable than fucking Velkaz, man. Oh. 
He's gonna push E? Oh my god, he eats the wave! Spellcasters need something, man, like lower cooldowns or like some better damage. Just even in ARAM, like past early game, he's not that good. I feel like you just make his R more impactful when he pushes it. He could be really strong because then he still has all his problems of like dog shit mobility, E super dodgeable, but then like his beam just murders you. Yeah, because it definitely does not murder you unless you get hit by a Q during it. Oh, 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 God. Whoops, Mr. Turtle. I don't even think he's dead. Nope. What's your game time out? I might be a little off Seven, eight, nine, uh, 30. You're like three seconds ahead. Oh. Speed up. Thoughts on Asol laser being better than Velkaz ult? <laughs> yeah, actually true. Does percent damage probably hits fucking harder. Oh my god. Oh, he's getting fucking zapped. They're getting, getting beamed. Blasted. He's getting fucking blasted. They're fucking beaming. Wait, does Annie? So when you take her body as Viego, then does that start you with a stun? Is that what I just saw? Oh, Looks maybe. Like he did. That sounds so good. Wait. Means it was just terrible before, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he stunned the Wukong clone there because he used QE and then he had one stack of the passive. If he didn't have one, he would have only had. Or he would have been at two. That, that's kind of nasty, actually. Holy shit. Yeah. Dragon Ball Super. Yeah. It's just continuation, like after the. The boo shit. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's like a round where I stopped watching, I think. Like, I don't think I ever finished the boo saga. Yeah, I mean, that's legit like the end of Dragon Ball. Of the that. other day, I was watching the Cell saga. Yeah, that shit's cool. On YouTube. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Oh, can we? Oh, feels bad, man. Ooh. Unlocked. Oh, the thing that was cool is, uh, there's like, there was a game that came out somewhat recently that just went through all that old shit as well in a cool format. Yeah, Kakarot is the name of the game. Do you see the Overwatch One Punch Man collab? Uh, no, I didn't. It's funny, though. It's like Doomfist One Punch Man skin. <laughs> oh, that's kind of sick. Yeah. Damn, this, this was a really nice move by TSM here, actually. I, I like the decision to have Wild Turtle come mid. Because, like, they don't have control of bot. They're giving the push. Even wave. I guess it was just kind of greedy on IMT to go for that mid play. While knowing Turtle had a timing to be there. But I feel like a lot of the time that wouldn't go that way. Good move by Turtle. Mm -hmm. It is quite crazy to just walk away from your lane when you're losing, get random kills. Dude, that's one of the best ways to come back, though, is, like, you're in a bad situation, you're, like, getting perma pushed in. It's just, like, abandon one wave, do the same thing you would do if you had prio when you pushed, but instead of that, yeah. you're just giving up the wave entirely, but you still get that first move, and through that, you can either, like, make a play in another lane, clear out their vision, do something. Like, yep. I think that's definitely the best way to get out of a fuck situation but it, it feels bad because it's like okay i'm in a bad situation you're asking me to give up even more but it's like not sure what else you can do unless oh he's oh. seeing some of the sweeper oh. i think he shouldn't have put down that pink there first of all they're all standing on it so it's instantly going to die but second of all it's like Anytime you have that knowledge gap where you know they're, you know where they are and they don't know you know that. Like you can set up some giga plays off that. True. Which is really only sweeper is one of the only things, or like or an unswept ward that'll give you that kind of info. Yeah. But usually, like people won't just camp on a ward. Like they'll at least make sure it's not worded so sweepers definitely like the thing that will lead to the situation it'd be like anything else you see the jungler hiding in the bot lane brush and you just type to him hey man yeah but like you just ruined the fact that like he's wasting his time yep 
for your sake of like wanting him to go away. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Okay, good block by Boogie. Wow, Boogie's getting hit by literally everything. Else. Oh, Maple's in deep. Kenby has to ult out. Revenge wow. Has to jump out. Oh my god, that Varus, you oh, did a fucking lot. Oh, fucking Scion, this is gonna be huge! Oh! oh no, he doesn't need anyone. Get the flash out of Revenge. The Wukong clone is dead! Go back and forth. Velkos doesn't have anything, though. He's already ulted. He's just not a threat. The juice is out of the tank. Wow, dude, I thought that, that Scion ult was almost so huge. Pretty good spread by IMT than having Revenge flash it. Mm -hmm. Wait, Cleaver Rush Velkos? Or, uh, <laughs> Velkos, fucking... <laughs> hmm, haven't seen that one before. The other V guy, Varus. Uh, 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 Viego. There's actually three Vs on their team. VVV. True. All right, we're gearing up for this third dragon. Maple do be looking far out. I think he has an idea. Oh! Oh! Wow, what a hook! Flushy is hitting some giga hooks. Well played, well played. They kind of covered both. Saw it? Yeah. I don't even know if that was intentional. I feel like it wasn't, but... I doubt they were like, yo, I'll get him, you you get the flash. Like, yeah. <laughs> nobody in the history of anything has ever tried to coordinate something like that. <laughs> like, out loud. Flushy might have been thinking in his head. It's too, like, reactive, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's too weird. Holy shit, close. Nice play by IMT, though. I feel like you'd only do that if you were, like, really trying to fucking flex on someone. Like, you know they're so fucking dead, and you're, like, trying to troll them in some way. Yeah. Because, I mean, in, if you do that, their counterplay is they just don't flash. They get hit by one, and then the one that the other one that would follow up isn't available anymore. Like, it's not really... Yeah, it's not optimal. ...super practical for many cases. Yeah. Like, normally you would just shoot one. If they flash it, then you, like, flash hit them with the other one or whatever. Yeah. It just looks cool. Yeah. It does look cool. All right, TSM going for that Giga Baron setup, but again, I think you need a pink on Baron for this pressure to be real. Like, dude, the thing is, in-game, you can feel this. If you're TSM and you see the way IMT is reacting, like, you should just know automatically, okay, they have some kind of vision on Baron. Yeah. Because teams play way different when they don't have vision on Baron. Like, they are just inching to check every second or blue orbing it. Yep. I'm not, it didn't like trying to bait Baron without pit. a pink on Baron is one of the trollest things that happens more than you would expect. Like that is so important for pressuring. Yeah, I mean you, you literally don't have pressure without it because there's probably a fucking ward there. Oh, again, Maple up in that side lane, gonna get caught. No flash. Oh wow, they're gonna try to salvage this with the. T oh wow, wow, I, I like this. They TP, he hides in the thing, they go for the long oh. play. Wow, Solo actually is fucking bang. He gets fucking Velkos. Oh, Tactical goes down somehow. Dies just the bot lane, blink both sums. He might have gotten Must trapped. have got flashed on by Shime. Or that, yeah. I mean, he Shime had flash, though. Yeah, it must have been like, Shime just like, Giga like, ran up on him and just flashed melee range. Couldn't flash out the root, that's my guess. Oh, no, people say Tactical trolled? Okay. My bad. Yeah, that that's actually rare. Tactical flashing in. Damn, dude, this. I, I like this play by TSM. Like, it, it really looked like Maple was fucked, but they were ready for it. Yeah. This is the difference between it. Wow, though. Solo got fucking destroyed by Velkaz. Oh. Okay. I, I honestly still wasn't looking at it. I saw it. He. Karma just met him in Tribrush. I'm going back. He, and then he just rooted him. He didn't flash it. He just dies. Because Caitlyn just ulted. And gets real chunked. Oh. Okay. His flash was completely fucking troll. Decap second? Oh! On Annie. Uh, I like it. 
I think the main problem you run into with Rod of Ages builds is just like you just end up not doing a whole lot of damage. So by going decap second, you can still have your like decap void. And then Rod acts as your defensive item, right? Like normally that's the thing you go between your mythic and your big core. Yeah. Ooh, TSM need to get that ward cleared mid. That is not a ward you want to leave up. That's actually like the most important ward in the game, a ward right in the middle of the lane. But it's also the hardest to maintain because people generally sweep it first. Yeah. Kind of got to hide it, make sure they don't see you place it. You can see wherever they're going after they clear the wave. Yep. Oh. Getting ultimate in. Wow. Weird. Like, absolutely should ult that. Yeah, because you lose Mega anyway. Yeah, I mean, I, I know at 16 you have your all every Mega. Maybe at 15 you don't quite. Maybe that's what he was thinking. Probably depends on his haste. Oh. Oh yeah, my god. It's not going to be long regardless. Okay, Solo is He's just dead. legit fucking banged, bro. Oh my god, Velkaz gap. Velkaz is the tank slayer. No, I mean... He is good at killing a Jack Show tank. Like with yeah. Jack Show, you really are just banking on your resists, keeping you alive. And uh, yeah, not great against true damage. I wonder, does Leandris increase your true damage, like on that flat damage increase? I think it's magic, not all. No. You remember that other thing I described about it? Like. Yeah, it's not based on, like, the difference in health. It's just their bonus. Yeah. Do they have any good way of stopping the Velka's ult? This is where you wish you have, like, a Gragas on your team. I think Wukong is, if they can get in. Yeah, it's just normally Velka. Like, he's not going to ult in his spot when Wukong's in his ass, right? Having something like Gragas. Just anything that, like, think about when you play MF, right? Like, what are the things that cuck MF? It's, like, the same kind of shit you want against Velka's. Yeah. Gragas, just, like... You can literally be the, the worst Gragas player in the world, and you just you, they tell you, like, your job is just hold R for Velka's ult. That's all you do. Yeah. You don't even just knock him in. You just fucking throw it at him. Solo and Boogie have good stuff. I mean, they do if they can get on him. Oh, like saying. He's not, he's not oh like my oh. god. Tactical getting legit banged. Oh. Okay. Balula just solo killed Chime. He's actually shredding. Yeah, I mean, he's fucking good at Velka's. Great, you gotta kill, but Velkaz from downtown kills off your support, so it's a one for one. You did get the beneficial trade, but you're losing your inhib, and as soon as Showman shows up bot, Revenge can potentially join the team with the TP if he needs to. Uh, we'll have to pay respect to the fact And this that somehow ends up <laughs> oh, that's so unlucky. He's dead. He's incredibly gone. Oh he's gonna try to get out. Oh, good hit by Turtle, not letting get the angle to escape. Wow. Revenge. <laughs> Revenge missed his ult on Scion's Q. Oops. Yeah. Slightly outranged him. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do agree with chat. I think at that point you just commit for the inhib once you're caught. Probably didn't know Annie was behind him or something. He definitely thought he could get out too. But yeah, he I mean, just that, it did it. end up being like the worst of all worlds. Like he didn't get the inhib or get out, and he blew his flash. Yeah. Okay. This oh. Is pretty good for TSM. Huge sign all. Oh my! Kate wow, just died. Wow! Turtle gets solo killed by. What Lulu. the fuck? What is this fucking Velkaz? Every time. How is he doing it? How is he solo killing people? This man's going crazy. Huh. I'm, I'm like I'm just gonna be fucking tunnel on Bolulu. I'm not even watching him, and he's just killing people. Oh. Unlucky. Oh no! No, he doesn't get out. He doesn't get out. Tippers, take him out. There you go. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm just timed. Tibbers whooped his ass. Wow, dude. Let's see this. What the fuck happens to Turtle? This is a bloodthirster. So he takes a W. Takes two W's, so he has the thing on him already. 
He's already analyzed. And oh, wow. he gets slammed. Yeah. Just he, fights in the beam. I, I think he disrespected. Like this. This is actually the thing that happens when. Like, so much of being a pro player is, like, you just remember things that have happened to you before, and I guarantee you, no one plays against fucking Valkos ever. Like, Turtle wasn't thinking, like, oh, yeah, I should probably not stand on his W here, because it doesn't feel like it's doing anything, but... Yeah. It definitely made him get fucking real, but that all... God, if he got out here, dude, that would have been so fucked up. Yeah. But thank God Tibbers is here. Yeah, I mean, still, still a good... Good play, though, by uh, IMT. I like the way they're playing. Oh. Generally, they're just working well as a team. Oh, they're going to get beamed? Ooh. Oh, my God! Okay, one for one. <laughs> oh, almost getting him back. Oh, Ken V may have extended a little too far. Ah, uh, unlucky. But I was thinking the same thing when I was watching him. I was like, I'm going to alt in on this Scion and kill myself. Oh he my god. It. No, China just got both. sniped. He Holy both, shit. Bro. Oh. Turtle. Oh my god. Turtle. No. Wait. What, that and works? he kills? What? That seems so incredibly illegal. No fucking way. Yeah, I think AD carry should uh, just, you know, be the tankiest class in the game late game. So it wasn't sense. even tanky. He got hit by fucking everything and lived. <laughs> yeah. How is that not tanky? It wasn't VT. He was just 1 HP. It's not like he was hitting much. Dude, he actually got red like a book, dude. He, like, flashed in, netted into the E. Yeah. Ertl loves flashing in, dude. Indeed. Gotta get that kill. I would rather play with the, an AD carry like Turtle though, than an AD carry who just like six, sits back, KDA farms. Yep. Because if you have an AD carry who's too aggressive, dude, I'll just build a Knight's Vow and go in with him, like whatever, dude. <laughs> Fuck it. Alright, let's see. He Gale Forces? Okay, wait, he, he kind of trolled himself. The, he was already down and he flashed E back into it. Yeah. <laughs> That's so illegal that that worked. He had a fat as fuck shield running in, but I think it faded. Yeah, I think it was like an Annie and Karma shield, maybe? Yeah, maybe. yeah. I don't even know if they actually soaked the damage, because it looked like they faded. Yeah. It definitely looked like he was about to run it down there. Oh, he was prepping it. Ow. He can't even reach in that, by the way. Tactical. Oh, he beamed Annie, but like he didn't actually get much value out of it. They're peeling for him. Boogie, 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 boogie. Is he dead back there? Is his W up? His W is up. Not the oh direction I was expecting him to go with it. Huh. He wouldn't have got out either way. This shit close as fuck. Oh! Ooh, nice play by Kenby. All right, Gale Force in. Extra AD carry. That's just... <laughs> that looks so funny. What? He becomes Scion, the Scion ghost just heads out the other way. <laughs> what if he dies, Scion? Viego Scion? Do you become a zombie? Um, I don't know. I feel like you would. I know with Karthus you do. Mm. Such a rare interaction. Yeah, it really is. Like, how do you get burst at his Scion? You'd be like, you take a lethality Scion corpse and then just get one banged. Yeah. Or, I mean, like, if, if you're really low as the Viego when you take over the body, you won't be, like, full HP or anything. Mm -hmm. That's a nice play by Kenvy. W fucking EQR. 
on to Turtle. I mean, this is the thing, though, like, which is why, like, don't get me wrong, like, Turtle's one of my good friends. The I think he does flash in too much, and it's not just, like, that fight you have to take into account. It's, like, even if that play works out, like, you're just down flash for so long, bro. Like, that that's the bigger issue, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, on 80 carries, I think you honestly, like, it's the same thing with, like, the narrative about, like, double if holding Flash so many times when he dies. It's, like, at least you still have Flash. Like, the amount of plays that are just open to the other team when your carries Flash are down just totally changes how you can play a fight. Yep. I mean, obviously, like, it's not like there's one way you should do it, but I think you should at least respect how strong of a cooldown that Flash is. It definitely has a lot more value than just using it on a Flash in just to get a kill. Like, yeah. if, if you get a kill in, like, a big-ass team fight, it's correct. Oh, well, yeah, like, if you can flash in and, like, bang their carry out, like, great, do that, but... It's, I don't feel like it's something that, like, you, you, every flash should be a flash in. Yeah. And when your flash is down, you have to, like, you know, play around it, which usually means playing way fucking back. Because mm -hmm. then you can get flashed on. Yep. How does TSM want to play these fights? They're oh my oh God. my Jesus! Dude, this is that's scared Velkaz of without the ARAM nerfs. Oh, Velkaz is in a flash. Oh oh, Silence getting a little bit slammed to flash out. No TP to get back in. I don't think he has a warmog either. This ah. is a game where absolutely, if, if you're Sion, you should have a warmog here. Hundred hmm. percent. The other team is fucking Velkaz poke Varus. They only win by poking. And I, it, to their credit, IMT is playing this pretty well. Like, I, I don't think their comp is particularly great or easy to play. But they're making it work. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Turtle. That's not how you want to flash. I mean, it's better than getting hit, but... Okay. Hold up. Maybe he's a genius. Maybe he baited this. Okay. Three dragons, three dragons. Oh, gets it. wow. This looks real good for TSM. I don't, yeah, I don't think Immortals can win. I mean, it's... Still 4v4, actually, not totally. No Velkaz ult. Yeah. Has Turtle got a mythic yet? Yeah, he's Gale. He's had Gale, like, most of the game. Oh. He went BT Gale, yeah. Oh, you're, you're right. I'm. Fuck control. Never mind. Oh, he just mini hopped. Okay, he's fine. Or. Wait, maybe not. Can't tell. Oh, oh, he oh, 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 <laughs> what the fuck? Why? All right, he's dead. Oh, Actually, unlucky. unpredictable. I was like, yo, he's dead <laughs> if this trap follow up gets off. Then he, it doesn't. I'm like, okay, he's fine. And then, <laughs> oops, did I click there? <laughs> so, IMT, I mean, they're doing a good job setting up early, getting that control. TSM. Just from the channel of the I think what makes this hard for TSM is they don't really have a good way of pressuring side lanes. Like, this is usually against poke comps. Like, what makes them hard to execute is, like, you kind of have to keep the other team just in an area where you can keep poking them. Oh, my God. And so their options are, like, you know, you can split against them, keep them getting that poke set up. Or to have a Caitlyn with a 1,000 health shield. So, like TSM's decision, go down mid, don't walk into their setup. Now, can IMT do the retake? That's hard. Turtle, no flash or Gale right now. I think they kind of have to saw. Everyone else's yeah. flashes are up in this game. Oh my god, that was close. Wait, is Turtle playing Gathering Storm? He does have Sorcery. Probably. You don't run anything else in Sork. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Definitely has adaptive gathering. Actually, such insane value on 80 carries to run that shit because you have so many multipliers with it. Yeah, it's just most games don't actually go there. Like, yeah, yeah. I fucking mean, 26 average game time. Like, you're never even hitting the third tick. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's best or required by any means, but I mean, in games like this, it's pretty fucking good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's to me, I would expect this to be like pretty favored for TSM at this point. Once you have a Kate like this, it's like just who, who's a threat to him on IMT? It's not much. 
I think oh. he's doing a good job though with this comp. I think, I think this dragon's gonna be pretty telling. I mean, he's killable. Not by like any one person, but. Yeah, I mean, if five people go on him when he's just uh, AFK and his team's also AFK, then that could be rough. <laughs> I don't think Caitlyn's fucking god. Oh my god, she's blasting drag though. It's just dead. It's over. It's soul. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if soul is over. Oh my god, oh huge my. fucking Wukong engage oh in tactical. Oh my. Jesus. And Bolulu's gone. All right, GG. GG. Wow. Nice try, mortals. It's cursed. Turtle didn't even do shit. Ah. Eleven hundred crit. Jesus. GA. Trap. GA against Kate, my dude. Bye bye. Dude, those are some fat fucking crits. Granted, he has Gathering it, Storm and three Infernal. Yeah, triple Infernal plus Soul. Yep. Massive fucking contribution to that damage. Yep. It's kind of like I when mean, I fucking should. dude. Like if a Caitlyn with, with these items, this game state isn't doing that, then like something's fucking wrong. Yeah. Game's dog shit. Like he should absolutely be like borderline one trying people with headshots here. <laughs> Full build with like as much scaling as you can have late game. True. Let's fucking go, turtle. Dude, it's the smile. It's him. The turtle smile. The patented smile. No one else can smile like this guy. I don't think IMT should feel horrible about that game, though. Like, they honestly played pretty well, but I think it's super fucking hard to win. Like, with that kind of shit. With such a player gap in the bot lane. Like, you have Tactical, they have Wild Turtle. Is it even winnable? Watch one of these comms. Ooh. Oh, I'm down. Do we have a link? I'll search the, the YouTubes. You ready? I'm at zero. Yep. So I'll drink in one dragon one minute. I mean, I have big ult. I'm pretty strong. Yon is kind of weak right now. Do we want to fight? Yeah. Guys, flash I, I don't think it's really going to get better on fourth dragon. So I think we should fight. Yeah, yeah, wait. Look here, look here, look here. I, I don't when even have my check. Yeah, when they just just a good fight here, timing. Just it's just a big play. Just sit here. Yeah, it's just a big play. They're going to come to color him. Okay, Jace is going to be on bot lane, guys, okay? Yes, I yeah, we, we look for cheese player. Yeah, look, 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 look to CP Milan. I have no TP. Okay, okay. Looking high, Mark. Yeah, for Yonalt. This is one. Ready to flash Yonalt. Oh, <laughs> ready to flash Yonalt. <laughs> <laughs> it's both. <laughs> uh, they know. Yeah. We must have been on a ward. Uh, no. Just process of elimination, probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. We should look for a fight. <laughs> yeah. The I mean, they actually weren't on a ward, though. That's trapping here. Yeah, but I mean that that's Hello? such a yeah. that's like an awkward thing to calm during the game. Like who cares why it went the way it did? Like <laughs> Dude, wasn't there a thing on C9? We like legit never hindsighted, like no one gave a fuck why things happened. It's just what what are we doing next? Yeah, I mean hindsighting in game is actually the worst possible. Yep. You have to retake our drink. Retake these pinks, retake these pinks. Unless it's like problem solving. But like they're different. We didn't even really get a chance to play the game. Yeah. Yeah. It was rough. Let's go. Let's have some fun today. And fun means we win. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. No barrier. Oh no. Oh. Nice. Okay. Oh, we're probably both dead. No flash. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, oh it's fine. My bad. I go sniff the Johnny. Maybe we say Johnny's jungle. Say Johnny bot. Oh. Callista flash. Callista both sums. Oh, oh, I'm dead. Oh. Oh, That's okay, guys. It's okay. It, it's look. okay. It's fine, guys. Callista can't carry. I'll make yeah. sure he yeah. can't carry. We can look for solo on yeah, this yeah, bounce as well. They're going to finish with Callista. Dude, uh, I think. Th this part, I want to walk up. I, I was up. just like, looking, looking. they could just Scion ult, ult, ult the turret and just kill it. Maybe over the wall? Mm hmm. Hey, stay jewel. Soul, 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 soul. Okay, okay. I'm watching you. I can't hit him right now. Can't hit, can't hit. Okay. Can't hit, can't hit. Okay. All right. We'll lose. If they flash in, maybe we can do something. Go so yeah, It's okay. It was, it was a hard position. <laughs> my bad, guys. Sorry. I don't really oh, know what we can do. We, we all play bad. We just suck, I guess. Spear. Nah, nah, nah. That's... Uh, uh, oh, Bali just got two snowballed. 
Yeah. That was quite the snowball. Hmm. So, I mean, comms wise, obviously this isn't everything, but like closer seems to be the most doom posty. His comms are kind of <laughs> negative. I think Doublelift actually was doing like pretty good comms, like not really too depressed, just yeah, it's very game focused rather than like yeah, and, and like he, he doesn't sound emo either. That can be one thing. Like sometimes, e even if you're saying like normal things, if you say it in a really emo way, it's just like demoralizing for everyone. <laughs> True, you can word it pretty terribly potentially. Even mm -hmm. if you're saying something correct, but like you just add things to make it depressing. Like I, yeah, I, they're pushing bot. I guess uh, fucking. <laughs> Yeah. Skip this shit up. Oh, this guy's like they're, they're just so ahead. Like I, I'm not gonna be able to do anything in this game. Like <laughs> that kind of comments, just like the <laughs> fuck is anyone doing with that info? <laughs> yeah. A better comment would be like, like yeah, like th this matchup, uh, it's not so good. Maybe we can look for something other places. Like we'll just hold it down. Yeah, like, like that's <laughs> such a different message to your team. It's like it doesn't feel like oh my teammates tilted out of the planet because like it, it. I don't know if you've had this, but like. I know it, something that affects me a lot is like if one, one of my teammates is really tilted or like depressed, I feel like I'll warp my play to like try to make them feel better mm. in a way. It's like I'll go for a play that's like I don't even think it's a good play, but like the chance that it works, it might like revive their mental, you know, like and I'll, I'll like catch myself doing it. And usually those plays look like fucking garbage. Like, yeah, every time, like most of the time I go for plays like that, it ends up being fucking terrible and like everything's much worse. And so it's just like. I think it's a very real thing for people to get baited by that. Yeah. I wouldn't say I really did much of that. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't... Think I'm not really in the role for it. Kind of bag. You're very robotic, which is absolutely a good trait to have. <laughs> it's also not really an AD carry thing to be able to help like that, too. Yeah, that's true. Jungler, for sure, is like... In first 100 LCS games... Oh! Oh, what's dude? Videos? What's up, pussies? Who is this guy? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Eighty-two wins, first one hundo. <laughs> I have never seen this stat. That looks makes me look really good. <laughs> I mean, that's a fucking crazy number, though. No? <laughs> yeah, it is. Eighty-two and eighteen. Jesus. High also has a crazy win rate. I wonder what Sneaky's is. Oh, hey, there's high. <laughs> uh, surely it's not the exact same. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Those were the days, bro. Mm -hmm. Isn't it crazy? Like, the rest of our life, we're going to look back at, like, the early C9 days and be like, damn, those were some good-ass times. True. Sure. Because they were. They were great times. I, I, the biggest thing for me that I feel like has been lost is just like the camaraderie between teams when it's like, yeah, I guarantee you if you pull like every single player in the LCS, I would, I would bet the majority of them would be like, you know, if I could switch a player on my team for someone else, I would kind of thing. Right. It's like, you're not necessarily playing with the people you want to play with. Whereas when we got our start, like nobody on our team would like want to switch someone. Right. Yeah, exactly. It's like, I've told this story before, but like, for people who haven't heard it, we were Quantic when we qualified for LCS. And then, like, the day after we qualified, I got messaged by, like, the general manager of uh, Team Coast. Or, like, they were called, like, GGU back then. And they just got second in the previous split. And he was saying, like, yo, like, the owner of TSM, who was Jack at the time, like, bought out GGU and he's making a super team. Like, we want you to be on it. And I was like... <laughs> fuck yourself like why i just qualified with my team i'm not abandoning my teammates yeah regardless of like what kind of super team you're putting together i was like if you have an offer for all of us then then i'll talk but if not like i'm, I'm playing with these guys like they're my boys yep and so then that's actually how jack got started talking to high and jack ended up just selling the spot that he had from like ggu that made team coast he bought out quantic I think it was literally like ten thousand dollars to buy our <laughs> to buy our team at the time. Which, looking back, is a pretty fucking good investment. 
<laughs> and so then Jack ended up being the owner of C9. Yep. And why we were like very close with TSM initially. And we were just but like that that level of camaraderie, right? It's like I had a lot of hype, but it's like, you know, I need my boys there with me. Yeah, I, I mean it felt so much different. Yeah. Exactly. Like I, what you I didn't said. even ask like what kind of money it was, even if it was a pay raise, like I don't care. Yeah. Cause I mean we also like felt differently about like players in the game back then. Like I mean, we came in smashing everybody like we felt like we were actually really fucking good at some point not initially because we didn't know yeah J just screaming tsm or like i feel like they're just trolling <laughs> yeah the whole time we're practicing we have like legit nipes that winner against tsm it was like the best team at the time and we're like dude these guys like just, they must just sandbag scrims they're just like trying to steal our strats feel us out like man like we're i'm, I'm like nervous because we're winning so much i'm like fuck like th these aren't real games like what's gonna happen when we actually play against teams that are trying <laughs> yeah because like I, I remember there's that one game cribs episode at like the very tail end odd one has this thing where he's like we started scrimming this new team and i don't know if they're just god tier good or we're not but like <laughs> like we can't beat them and I was like, huh, like, if he was sandbagging, I don't feel like he would have said that. And that was sort of, like, the first validation for the team. Yeah. It's good fucking times. hilarious. So good. Yep. Holy shit, Trendomir. Wait, they actually have a Trendomir. That must be going against Yone, right? Yeah. Okay, this C9 comp looks fucking horrible. They'll probably oh. win anyway because they're goaded, and I'm excited to see it, but I would not want to be playing this trash. Huh. I don't know. I mean, they're not against a bad team. Although JoJo's been feeding his balls off. He got player of the week last week. Yeah. He had a good week. EG's been very up and down. Yeah. Like, they, they have wins right now. They're 9-4, but, like, I swear to God, three or four of them, they should have lost. Yeah. They haven't looked super dominant, but... I mean, obviously, they haven't looked bad. Yeah. Trinomir just spins. Oh, yeah, Trinomir's on the list of, like, rework shit, too. Yep. Thank God. I think the biggest thing for me with Trinomir is like, I wish I that I had a better visual for how long his ult's gonna last. Like he should have like a bar on him or like yeah, that, that's gonna be part of it. Bar. They're keeping his invuln too. They yeah, said that, I mean, which is fine. I don't hate that. Like it's obviously annoying as hell, but it is like a huge part of his identity. Yeah. If he didn't have that, I don't know what he would do. It's. Pretty much the same as how iconic AK Sean is with his revive. You just can't remove it. Okay. <laughs> and there goes our credibility. <laughs> this has been fun, guys. <laughs> his gameplay right now is so troll, dude. It's just like, yeah, you're like a strong mid laner in lane. You'll beat people who don't know what action does. You just like creep around the map and clean up and revive your team and just take over. Like what? They they should remove the like stealth shit why is he a stealth? i always forget about it well nowadays i'm better but like in the beginning i would always just like get crept up by him and be like wait like fucking action's a stealth champion holy shit yeah oh, oh the crit the crit get out play jojo he's dead oh outplayed, outplayed. another head bonk l2p why is the camera only showing mid because it's the new pick i mean he's kind of smoking him i don't mind this yeah, no, I mean, it's cool to see. Is this, like, I mean, a winning match? Said in, like, his interviews and stuff that he's just, like, legit gapping everyone in lane. <laughs> he said he wins 90% of his lanes in scrims, and the 10% he loses is just because he gets bored and overextends. <laughs> is that actually a quote from him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is... That is a perspective, I'll give you that. Dude, that is literally the Trinomir experience. It's just like, <laughs> gets crit once, and gets crit again. Yep. And JoJo's gone. I think they definitely 
if they rework them, that early game crit shit is. I mean, crit, crit is just a stupid as fuck stat. Yeah, I don't really see why he needs that. Oh, he's got him. All right. Does he need to ult? Wow, that was fucked up, bro. What the fuck? Yep. I didn't even... Like, Jojo has flash. He gets flash Gragas Eid. And he just dies still? Yeah, dude. I, like, Trinomir players... The champion's super annoying, but, like, the trainers, you know their limits and can do shit like that. It's, it's pretty impressive. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of these Trinomir kills, like, it won't look like a kill going into it, and then it just somehow will be... Well, what is EG's plan here? Just watch them take it? I'm not totally sure. Yeah. It's kind of a waste of resource. Crit has gotten a lot more consistent for like 80 carries, but it's pretty wild how it works on like the, the melees. Yasuo, Yone, Trindamir. Truly the only ones. Is just because like it's literally from level one. Like, yeah. He's not building it, and it's like. I don't even know what it is nowadays. Is he like 50% crit with a full rage bar? Like, I don't even know. No idea. But it's actually like the difference between like winning and losing most lanes on Trinomir is like the early 35. Oh, okay. Not 50, but still like the difference between winning and losing your lane is just like, did I crit during this trade is like really stupid from both sides. Yeah. It's 40. It's 40? Okay. Yeah, I was going to say like 35 didn't sound right to me. It used to be 35, someone says, oh, yeah, I, I mean, I guess, like, mm. outdated info is cool. Uh-oh. Relevant. What happens? Uh -oh. Ooh. Oh, okay. I like the flash by Inspired there. It gets both their flashes. Yeah, quick. Gets out. Two flashes down. I would down. like to see them keep pressuring this. I don't think you need to leave, but maybe, maybe because of the mid-situation, you do, actually. Usually in this kind of situation, like, you want to pressure, like, you can just sit behind the turret and force C9 to respond, like, make them bring down someone who can relieve this pressure, but it's caveat here is, like, Trinomir has so much mid-prio that, like, they can't match him, and he'll just come down and kill everyone, so, you, like, you don't want to force him to come down like that, or you just die. Yeah. I don't know, man, like, it's hard to imagine Yone will ever be able to contest Trindamir this whole game. I guess we will see. Oh. Wow. Nah, but if this isn't a mid-gap, I don't know what is, dude. It is a mid-gap. This makes the map so hard for EG to play, like, you, I mean, you just saw two times recently where, like, even when they get a good play bottom, force the double flash and have a proxy situation, Trinomir has the threat of stopping it, so they can't do that. Comes down, just clears all division, can't really do anything in response. Mm-hmm. He just dunk walks wherever he wants. Yep. And if Jojo follows him, he'll probably just get killed. We're we'll have to flash out. Oh, Berserker's just oh, fucking dead. Hey, okay, nice. Like that. He's a good option to play around. And Sven, no wow. For the fast play through lane. Dude, that, that just completely based on Elise going bot earlier, getting the double flash with his. Yep. Insta double kill. Like, Zerka's flash is almost up, too. Wow, it's really been that long since, Ooh, since nice that play flash. By Jojo. Gets the ult. Jojo wants more. He wants the kill. Oh, he's sniffing. He says, stop flexing on me, you fuck. I'm younger than you. He's Who fucking younger, actually, sniffing. Uh, I don't know. I think it's Jojo. If I had to guess. I'm looking it up. Or MNS did say in his interview, Jojo's the only mid laner who's been able to challenge him. Wait, Jojo's still 18 and MNS is 22. Oh! Oh! Wow! 
Did that Q hit him after the flash? Oh. Wait, look at Eminus's build. He's literally building three different items. Or wait, no. I'm trolling. Two. <laughs> For some reason, I was like, oh, a Zeal, a Noon Quiver, and another Crit Cloak. <laughs> but, uh, that one that one works with the noon quiver actually sneaking yeah it just looks weird when it's zeal plus crit cloak god damn that q still hits wow that was wild and there's some extended ass range yeah i'm surprised i hit jojo could have flashed the side but i don't know I don't yeah i think that was too expected he didn't expect to get the dickens yeah, I mean, he had ult to get out, too, if he wanted to. Just didn't think he'd die. I don't think anyone really thought he'd die like that. Wait. Except Berserker. They just said JoJo's playing from home. Wait, really? That he's not feeling good. Damn. What do you mean I just noticed it? I didn't hear them say it ever. I thought he was on stage at some point. Was he not? I thought it was on stage and then left. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just gone. I mean, that would make sense why they're having so many problems. Yeah. That sucks. Not fun to be sick. Oh, wow. Blabber has no fucking idea. Surely he gets railed here. Oh. Surely. Surely he's been railed. Whoa, Rocket Belt, Elise. Holy Rocket fuck. Belt with... Blue smite. Rocket Spider-Man. I've been branching out from green smite lately on junglers. I've actually been building red a lot. That like move speed one seems pretty nuts. Yeah. It is quite nice. Zoom in the foreign. He looks dead as fuck. He has to ult out. Oh my god. And he still dies. And he gets banged like that. The gale force uh, dude. Jesus. That's rough. Oh, this game's over. God damn, man. I should ask. This game's somehow kind of close. Even though JoJo's feeding. AG's now actually yeah. not that behind. Oh, someday getting jerked a little bit. The only this whole person game has just been the Trinimir show and <laughs> literally EG's like inability to really <laughs> deal with it. The only person to die in EG has been JoJo. Yep. But I mean, he is playing Yone. Like, how much does Yone have the same thing going that Yasuo does? Where it's like, even if he runs it down, he's still just so good at farming and spikes so hard on his items that it's fine if he's behind. I mean. I wouldn't call Yone strong right now. Or strong Not soon. Not on IE? He'd be alright. I mean, like, he, he's just behind the curve of this game. But, I mean, he, he's like an AD carry in that aspect, you're right. Like, he won't be irrelevant by the time of late game because of crits. Yeah, and, like, you know, he's he always... Oh, wow. Nice. Good cleanse there. Maybe he can capitalize on it later. I feel like for assassin type characters where like you want to kill their backline, as long as you have the ability to kill a squishy, right? Like someone who hasn't really built any resistances or health, you're going to be relevant. And Yone can absolutely do that on two items. E even if behind, like an AD carry is never really surviving him. Uh-huh. Whereas the champs like Vex and shit, it's like, or Ari, it's like... Yeah. You have to be pretty ahead to reach a point where you're actually just one tapping them. That's true. What would you like to see out of a Trinity work? I, I think the idea of his W is kind of cool. Like, that's interesting gameplay from both sides, right? Like, you're trying to hit them with their back face or turn, and they're trying to, like, face you. So maybe it's just, like, if you get someone slowed with that, you get some, like, extra buff. Like, maybe you get some Xin Zhao type of dash. Like, your E gets extended range, and you just, like, fucking fly at them. Mm. Just help get on your targets. Uh-huh. Oh. I mean, like, not that specifically, oh. but something oh. along those lines. Ooh, Ooh Bomba! Fucking Wait, cocked. FBI is has to flash out. smoked here. He's greeting it. It's just dead. Oh, FBI is gigaboned. How did he end up so out of position? 
Wow. C9's going to take Baron. They're going to get Baron here. No problem, I think, with all of those kills. EG all tried to funnel in to bail out Sunday, who ended up actually being able to survive on his own. And they just kind of get caught out in transition. People coming from different angles. You're not this Baron's fucking dead. I'm going P. There's no okay. chance to seal this. And Dragon hadn't already spawned. Oh, so there was no. no chance of a trade either. So this is kind of C9. It feels like putting a bit of a bow on it. They are so far ahead now. No business being there. He, he he but I think like his sustain in lane with his Q is kind of lame. The fact that he just his main gameplay pattern is just like perma splitting and running away, being uncatchable. Like that's not cool. His one v one tower dives are pretty lame. That's not cool, bro. That is not chill. At this point, nice little sidestep from Blabber, and they're gonna look. MS will lead the charge as long as he has that ult. All right, the change is W to turn anybody not looking at him into an actual chicken. <laughs> Polymorph, like a hard CC. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's just troll, but. <laughs> I mean, the way it is now, it's it's one of those abilities that's like actually strong, but just so outdated. It's like minus AD and fucking Giga Slow. It's like a lot of AD. It's like 80 or something. Like yeah. What is it? It's yeah. <clears throat> no, I, I think 80 attack damage at max rank. A, a lot of the reworks make a lot of champions a lot more skill based. Like they add skill shots or like true conditions. Oh shit! Wait, mm -hmm. this is awkward. I think they end anyway. Wait, maybe. Eminus doesn't oh have god. Ult. Oh god. Wait, it's oh, not over. Sion passive. Sion passive. Oh god. That was pretty throw. Yeah, I mean, they didn't get all three in Hibs, so. No, they they did make Mord gameplay skill based. Like his his Q actual skill shot, his E skill shot. Wait. Who <laughs> Who the fuck is saying Mord is one of them with no uh, skill? He said accept Mord. I don't know. <laughs> okay, that. <laughs> That's not right. I think, if anything, like, Udir is probably the closest to, like, not really making too much difference in skill. Yeah, it's just, like, decision-making on what you want to empower. Yeah. Which, I mean, it's still more skill than he was before, but they're not trying to make him, like, a super hard champion. Yeah. But it's definitely the direction, like, it, it, in total, like, that's how League works. It's like, it's extremely skill shot based game overall. Yeah. Ooh, like, sometimes some champs aren't, like, super rough on it. Like, Lucian's skill shot game is, you know, based on his Q early, but then, like, later in the game, you're just queuing on them always. Mm hmm. Like his old I mean, I position think the matters. Best gameplay in league is like a balance between avoidable and unavoidable things. Yeah. Like when you have a champion that's all skill shots, like Velka Ziggs type, it's just like they're probably too weak. Yeah. Oh. Gragas goes down. Wait, oh Eminence went down. Yo, yo, C9's wait. He's actually throwing this. They legit are. That's not what you want to do when you're in this spot. Oh like god. The one throw is okay, but if you throw again right after, like you are gonna start falling behind an XP. Yeah. It's actually looking bad. Yeah, I mean, Trinomir's not a team. Wait, he also died without ulting? Am I seeing this correctly? <laughs> what the hell happened to him? Didn't quite see. <laughs> He's getting I, bored, I think. I definitely think they could just keep the E, they keep the, the R, and then they make the W, like, actual, like, skill shot type thing. And they keep the Q as some stat check. But not mm. not the same that it currently works. Like they just take out the RNG of it, make the passive like a fucking like a five hit passive or something for bonus damage on a champ. All right, what he? Oh wait, dude, you remember uh, Malakin from Han? Yep, like they're throwing his sword and porting to it. Yeah, something like that, actually. Could be his E change. That'd be cool. Even, like, a, like he had a range form and a melee form. That was, that was based on, like, 
You can just W, like you push W, your melee. Push it again, you're ranged. Mm -hmm. They actually could do something similar. Or like uh, Terrorblade, Metamorphosis, Dota. Like, mm -hmm. fat oh, fucking cooldown. Yep. Oh, Eminus, go for the back door. Go for the end. I feel like if he ghosted to the Nexus, he just ends, doesn't he? Actually, wait. They they could just do that. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> the Nami wave takes him out. Holy shit. Okay. It's over. It's all over. <laughs> He's got the chakrams. He's trying. FBI. Guy won't die. <laughs> oh, the stopwatch. House swag. <laughs> I, all right. They, they could actually do... Like, okay, they, they keep the ult making you invuln, but then the ult gives you range. Not to be a literal range champ, but, like, a longer auto. Mm. And they, they could change the E to be, like, the TP thing. Like, you throw the blade, and then you can jump to it if you want. That'd be cool. So, sounds like you just want to make a Minta Mali again. <laughs> and Eminus is fucking... kind of doing work in these games. No, not like they're actually just getting huge advantages it, from lane. It, it's not like Katarina because you can TP to it at any point of the the sword throw. Like the sword travels. So like if you've seen Puck from Dota. Coach changes. Our fucking coach was the problem. I knew it. I knew that guy was trolling. Dude, who, Fucking coaches, dude. Who even was their coach, actually? Like, I, I saw the name, and I did not recognize who that is. It's like Hayes or something? What did he... Like, who was he with before? Uh, he was head coach of 100 Thieves. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking before that, maybe? Oh, I don't know. Yep. Dang, okay, 100 Thieves is back on their hard-to-execute, very little lockdown comp. They have Recon, so I guess that's some. But, like... Azir, Lee Sen, Gragas. I'm going to have to see how that goes. What is that Yone skin? Have I ever seen this skin? Is this new? Is it actually Ocean Song? Really? That is not... The skirt's water? It's not a skirt. It's a kilt. What is a kilt specifically? Like, is it trying to differentiate... But it's the yeah, same thing. You call it a dress, you'll be killed. <laughs> Kiss him every time. Killed. Lol. Scottish man skirt? Yeah, but like, why isn't it just called a skirt? Skirts have underwear? Kilts don't? Oh. What? That sounds, uh -oh. that sounds wrong. Yeah, and he's very overextended right now. Oh. Yeah, usually your balls don't hang out of a skirt. <laughs> Not all skirts have underwear. Oh, oh River! Not a good look, my dude. That was pretty terrifying for Bjergsen. He definitely could have died. I mean, not with that flash from River. I mean, how does a river flash? It doesn't move. If he flashed on Bjergsen at the end of the queue and knocked him with it, or like at least flashed to block the Azir E, he's yeah. definitely dead there. That yeah. was like a real late flash. He waited so long for that as well. Oh, oh. he said. Oh, oh bye. closer! Holy shit, closer's fucking back, baby. Closer Lee Sanga. That's finals MVP right there. Who he's dead. Watch this. Oh. Yeah, he's gone. They both whiffed. Oh my god. Big dick say. Dang. Bro, they both whiffed. Pretty unfortunate trade there. Did he heal out of the Recon W? Mm, I don't know. Uh oh. Licorice. He's fine. Just use your abilities and flash. Oh. <laughs> Unlucky, bro. Hey. Closer on a legit tear. I said he's fine, but it it was extremely close. 
Dude, it, can you actually consistently flash Lee Q damage? I don't think you can. Mm, no, I don't think so. I think it's like a tick rate thing. Because they obviously have the same ping, everybody here, but... Because, like, even if you time it perfectly, where, like, you separate yourself from Lee after his Q, instead of flashing him with you, like, you still will most of the time get damaged. Yeah. Yeah, here was definitely too late for it. Like, he, he clearly got hit by the Q, and then the auto, and then flash. Yeah, he, I mean, he would have needed to flash the initial part of Lee Sin Q to live that, I think. Yeah. All right. Signs of life for 100 Thieves. Actual closer gap. Closer's ganked more in one in the first five minutes of this game than he has Hall split. Mm hmm Kind of true. That's cap. Kind of true. But, uh, yeah, good place, good place. Meuse is right. All right, here we go. New rule. Government. To counter casinos, you can only ever gamble with 5% of your total uh, amount that you have in your bank account. So you have to submit your bank account. Why? How do you make it ri big doing that? You don't. It counters casinos. Oh, oh he doesn't take a turret shot from that. Oh, wow. Nice flash silence by Huhi. Unfortunately, he got the kill. Okay, it, it, if, but like, yeah, like if you have a thousand dollars in a bank account, you can you can gamble it all. <laughs> That's so fucking. Have trouble. there been people who have like actually made a fortune from the casino outside of like randomly winning slots? Probably is. Like, how often does that happen? Like, you hear about people who small. go to casinos and lose everything all the time, but like, how often do people just go there desperately, do the same thing that someone who lost everything does would do, but that they win? I don't know, like that. Definitely can happen, but like the amount of happens extremely low. Oh, he's gonna punish him for that flash earlier. Oh, he hit him! He hit him! Wow! Damn. Okay, closer. Okay. He's actually slapping. He's actually cooking. The versus the best team in the league, and this is what they cook. Yeah, I think that was the TL game, actually. I'm thinking of a different one. Nope. I don't think Golden Guardian is the best team in the league. I think they're pretty solid, though. Huh? Pretty chill. What the fuck? Pretty decent. Dude, someone told me that they, like, call me out on the stat I gave when I was doing my jungle tier list. Like, <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. Like, I thought River had been winning on Lee Sin, or on Wukong, because he, like, was oh playing my. a lot of Wukong. Yeah. But apparently he's lost every Wukong game. He's like zero three on it, and I was like, "Yeah, he's one of the only jungles who's been making it work." <laughs> but he hasn't. XDDD. Bro. Uh oh. Oh, this is unfortunate. Double if actually just got both of those guys killed. That was kind of fucked up. Yeah, they got zeried real hard. No, like you didn't even see what Double if did, did you? Show me the. All right, watch this. Watch this. All right. Oh. This isn't the replay. This ain't the replay. <laughs> Fuck. He scoops that dumb unicorn bitch. Then he snipes this ass. Kicks his ass. Whoa. Then he physically... Alright, here you go. Here you go. Watch the double lift. The, the wave's dying. The wave's dead. He, he's, he takes the shot. He's still in his face. He gets put to literally one, and then his team just is stuck fucking sticking around with him. Oh, he got his team killed, huh? Yes. He, he literally can't fight. Like, they can't even do this if Double Up doesn't get put to 1 HP. Oh, wow. Crazy how he mind-controlled two of his teammates to die there. He actually did. Uh, incredible. That was legit a massive mistake. But... I don't know if it's enough to lose in the massive game. Massive mistake by his teammates. <laughs> oh, wow. No, like, it... <laughs> He just, he like stuck around assuming that his team was going to be there with him, but they weren't. They were like behind him. I mean, like if his team was up, then it's not his mistake because they can just fight. Mm -hmm. But his team wasn't. That's kind of like the do the right thing together, do the wrong thing together. Like they were just split in what they were trying to do. So it ends up being awful. If they all did the right thing in Double head, 
well, you know, not necessarily his head, but like in theory, double his head. They all step up, then it works, but they didn't. Yep. Oh, okay. Looks like we're gonna get a big fight here. Licorice on a huge. He's stealing TV this. Plane. He's stealing it. He's stealing it. Oh, he didn't go. He didn't go. It ran out. He uh -oh. gives it away. Pretty decent looking Rakan engage here. Oh my. Oh, okay, they get two, including Zeri. Yone all full whiffed. Surely this is winning. Oh. Oh, what did this win? Oh. Let's fucking go. Okay. Let's fucking go. Dude, Signs of life for the first time whiffed. from the thieves. Yep. All right, let's see how this... What happens to Stix A? He gets Rakan. I'm watching. Rakan gets stuffed. Oh, yeah, he gets Rakan. Oh, yeah. And then kicked his ass. Too. Hmm. Kind of big mistake from Stix A there. He kicked his fucking ass. Well, the Guardians has been an interesting team to watch. They, like, started off 0-4. Then won like seven or eight in a row, and then they lost their win streak. They look decent. I don't know. They don't feel like a giga top team yet, but definitely not bad. Oh no, tenacity! You're getting gangbang. Don't walk in. Oh wow. His spidey senses did not tell him he was about to get gangbanged. Didn't have enough. That's <laughs> he didn't get out of the stud. <laughs> That's so good, bro. Thank you. Oh, nice. They get Yone ult. I crafted that one myself. How do you like it? That was pretty sick, bro. Nah, but I mean, t I don't know. Tenacity definitely should never die like that. That's like a hard thing to learn, though. That's one of those things you don't learn as much in solo queue. Like, as a top laner, you have to know, like, you know, what the enemy's tempo is, like, when they have time to be in certain places. Because he did not, he was not playing like he knew they were behind him. He's playing like, oh, they might be setting up for me. Not like, oh, there's three people literally behind you about to dive you. You are fucked. I've seen Parasite. I don't know what to think about movies like Parasite. Like, oh, I like that one. I, 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 that I can cool. see why people like it. I, I feel like it just like wasn't really for me. I don't know. I, I had no idea what to expect, but it ended up being really cool. I mean, it was an interesting movie, but I, don't know, I'm, I, I guess I, I'm not really a huge fan of like movies and shows where it's just like every character is like kind of like I'm rooting against them. <laughs> It's like no real good guys. It's just like shitty guys and shittier guys. <laughs> it was one of those ones that like it had me thinking about for a while afterwards. But then I, I could also say that about Midsummer, but like I fucking hated Midsummer. Like I felt repulsed after watching that movie. I haven't heard of that one. I feel like we've talked about it before. Really? Yeah. Oh, Tenacity ultimate out. Good job zoning River. No chance for steal. Ooh, okay. Nice. Solid Baron. The the director of Midsummer did some other notable stuff, didn't he? <laughs> People were making funny because he called Sweden piss random country. <laughs> I didn't say piss random. <laughs> oh? Oh? He's dead. Oh my. Uh oh. Hereditary, yeah, that's the one. That's the one I'm thinking of. Oh, big scoop! Is that a 100T dub right there? Into the Gragas body slam. Damn, let's fucking go. They're doing it. They're looking alive. That is the game. Was this... He played Lee before with this roster, right? Closer? Yep. Definitely didn't look like this. Nope. It looked real invisible. He was like down a level. Jerking Good it. stuff. Let's go. Woohoo! Hugs all around. 
Yay! Holy shit, tenacity's so, wait, what's so the race buff. What's for playoffs looking like now? Is it? It actually seems close. <laughs> They've shown it so many times. They Fuck keep showing you. like who's playing who. But like realistically, like. I mean, it changes with every game, so. Yeah, I know it changes with every game, but realistically, like, who's so, like, actually going to make it? After every win, the difference is made. The only game that, like, wouldn't even matter would be fucking Fly versus Dig. So it was their coach the whole time. Yep. Nuke Duck is what they needed. Old guy out. New guy in Insta win. Dude, it, it's so troll. This is how, like, League goes. Because I guarantee you, like, imagine coming into this game, you just replaced, like, double lift with Unforgiven, right? Yeah. And then this exact same game happens. People would be like, holy fuck. Like, they'd have this crazy narrative about how double lift just, like, holding back his team. And yeah. how, like, like, all this shit. And it's just, like, that literal same game could have been played with different players. Like, you... <laughs> Teams can look vastly different game to game with the same players. Yep. It's not like one player is the entire difference. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it can be that single player, but sure. way more often than not, it's just the team playing well together. Yeah. I mean, my point is like the same group of players can look good or bad depending on the day. Like you can play well or you can play bad. And a lot of it's just how your opponent is playing. Mm -hmm. it's such a funny meme how like the entire draft is play placed on the coach when it's like definitely not at all how it works it's a team effort including the coach if it's only solely on the coach the team's trolling yeah oh my god the dragon <gasps> whoa Wait. i like dragons i, I have not Blind pick paid attention to draft at all has soul been banned most games or what? Uh, like, why it's not been no. played? No one's just picking it? I mean, it, it lost a lot last week. I, but, like, they were fucking trolls. Legit noobs. I, I sub me in, I legit carry every game on Soul. <laughs> yeah, trust me, you guys. I've, I've beaten Diamond players. Like, just <laughs> let me handle this. <laughs> Put me in, coach. Put me in. What do they counterpick? This is... Jensen can pick anything he wants here. What is it going to be? Casio. Huh. Interesting. You you bait him with beaming him. Cancel the beam. Casio ults. GG. Seems all right here. I don't know. I think of Casio as one of those champs who's like... Good if the whole other team's running into you. Medios, did you sniff the dig players? The people want to know. Who the fuck was smelly? I did not. What the hell? Why the fuck would I do that? Because I requested you to. You ignored my message on Discord. I don't even think I was near any players all day. What the fuck? Sneaky Asol print screen. Let's click this shit. Screenshot's kind of tiny. Let me zoom in. Can't really see. Four and twenty-two with thunder, something, Thunderlord's blessing. That's an old patch. Wrong soul. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's when you solo queue into an LCS team as well. <laughs> Notice the in names of the entire enemy team. Top is success, mid is success, yellow star, jungle is success, double lift. <clears throat> we did have wild turtle in solo though. What the fuck? What was I playing? Who was griefing me? Elise. Mm. You didn't gank for me, by the way. Just having really? you remember that. Oh fuck! I think that actually explains death twenty one. My bad. <laughs> oh, oh. No, both flashes, nice. Do you really think leaving me alone is okay versus Bjergsen, Svenskeren, and Wombo combo? Like, I needed to cover after death fifteen. That's for sure. Is is this acceptable gameplay? To leave your mid laner solo? 
and you expect to not be reported. <laughs> you expect to not be reported after this experience, huh, Mr. Medios? Yeah, I think the report of the guy with 22 deaths carries a lot of weight. <laughs> oh my god, he's beaming. So what is the idea of this matchup? Just Soul needs to stand there and beam you and you just fucking blast his ass? I don't... I, I played this matchup. It's not even good for Cassio. That's what I was thinking. Like, Soul's not exactly low range. Hey. Somebody who needs to interact with you a whole lot. You can outplay her really hard with the W. Like, she thinks you're just sprinting forward. You cancel it, look away. Or, like, she thinks she can land a Q on you fucking flying forward. You just cancel Q. Zoom past, dodge the Q. Mm. Oh, are they going to go for the dive? Nope. All soul matchups do look like this early, though. Just fucking lose all your mana, got a recall. Get off I think teams should keyboard. be allowed to just randomly sub in idiots like Sneaky who win games in Diamond and <laughs> claim they can carry. Well, I'm basically playing 4v5 every game, so I get like a different perspective on these games. Huh. Like, if I can carry one deadweight top laner every single game, like, I think it's actually pretty good. Really? <laughs> oh my god, he missed the recall. I, you must be playing games when I'm not there, then you're like, having deadweight top laners. <laughs> So I know in a lot of our games, it's like I'm having to just win my lane, no jungler, no mid laner. <laughs> yeah, it's tough out there in the top lane. <laughs> yeah. Hard to solo carry. <laughs> Holy shit. Blasting one rush. Holy shit. What? He's going. It's gotta be going rod. Boom two. Take notes. Whatever the fuck that emote is. Oh, that last hitting. So sick. Gragas is hard to last hit on early. Oh wait, Tomo's just. How the hell you done ended up there? Wow. Oh. oh one for one. So the good news is, Zymercon. They're gonna be married forever. There you go. <laughs> Lots of tests of time. You get a kill in the How did Tomo get surprised so hard like that? Were they just giga bush camping? Santorin does have some control over the dragon. Will's trying to establish that. Let's take a look at Tomo. Oh, he just gets flashed on by Zaya. You know, they they take the because at the same time you can That's actually like put here. Contract called. Hey, Ignar is here. As soon as he places this control word. That's a good play wise. Uh Silji's bot lane. Yeah, he dodges the hook. Flash in to give Rakan the better E. But as soon as he made that call, hey, Ignar is mid. I'll give him that one. Luger, no his contract's going Kraken Viego. Uh, maybe. They did buff that build. Like the buffs they did to Viego actually don't help him in pro at all, unless you're playing him that like that, which I generally not what people do. It would be cool to see it though. What was the Kraken Viego buff? The passive damage from Q on basic attacks can now critically strike. Oh. And the AD ratio on his ult is better. Went from 3% missing health damage per 100 bonus AD to 5% per 100 bonus AD. Ooh. I have Chipotle yeah, I tacos. Like, Diego's thing has always been, like, it's hard. Oh, hold up. Big fight. Mm, this is kind of awkward for CLG. They can't really get in. Yeah. Oh, and Dokla's just gone. Oh. Fuck, they're weak. They are giga week up here, actually. Hold up. Yep. Their topside damage is piss. Play around Zyrocon. Any time. Well, Santorin actually finished the Sunfire Cape first. That's rare. Even the Bammy itself isn't too common, but he went Bammy into the full cape. Oh, Cassio's taking Raptors. Holy shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Big play by Dig. Oh, nice. Oh, Thresh got it. Unlucky. Aurelian Soul has the big ulti. What can he do with it? The skies descend. Ah. Oh. oh. Tomo. Dude, he's just permanently Damn, jumped on. Legit. They are going in on his ass. Uh oh. 
He's uh -oh. dead. Give him up. Yeah, he's not even gonna cleanse. He's like, yep, I'm fucked. This is nice TP, pussy. Bitches. Power nice. Fox has been sitting under tower the whole game. This is probably why people don't like playing Soul, bro. Like, pro players do not like playing champs that lose lane. Yeah. I mean, if you don't feel like you'll ever have an impact, it feels terrible. But, I don't know. If you're on, like, God Scaler, I swear it's different. Because it's like your condition. But, like, your team might get snowballed on, which could feel terrible. Yeah. But, I mean, blind picking a soul, like... I could see counter picking when you know you have a matchup that's playable, but you blind pick something like this and then you just get countered and you're just sitting under turret all game trying to farm, losing out in CS. Yeah. But I mean, I guess if you're blinding, you just have to hope you have some other advantage going for you in draft. Mm -hmm. Like a nice jungle gap. Yep. I mean, you're on blue side, so you have first pick. Hopefully you get some kind of good first phase. Some bot lane jungle dominance. Uh-oh. Dokla! Big Dokes! No! Oh! oh! Wait, he's fine. Quick, go get shot! Wait. Uh oh, Jensen slithering in. He's up by himself against five people. Wow, he Where's... gets the dig ulti by himself and takes one damage? That was... Why? Kind of weird. <clears throat> I don't think he needed to. Oh, I think definitely not. I mean, he had flash still. Yeah. Kraken Slayer finished on Viego. Quite bold. Especially here. Like, who the hell are you assassinating? I guess you're just playing with Zyra Khan, trying to finish off whoever they go on and turn into them. Mm -hmm. I could see the build sometimes, but this doesn't seem like a great game for it. It still looks like a Sunder game for sure. Like Sedge, Renekton, Cassio, all of a shit ton of HP. Sunder, Bork. Sunder. <clears throat> well, I meant like you get both. Oh, I don't think I'd go Bork. Is he gonna go Bork next? Uh, I don't know what you go with Sunder for or with Kraken first. I think Cleaver is what people do with this build. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Not that I've seen it, but we did see Cleaver earlier. I, I remember people saying in LCK this is what they were building. I think it's just the Kraken in general. Like I would not feel comfortable being this squishy up against a team of like Giga tanky champs with a fuck ton of CC. Like, if you get Renekton stunned, Sedge stunned, Thresh hooked into a Miasma, you're actually just dead. Bro, shouldn't there be some, like... Ch oh, hold on, he's... Okay, he's fucked. Or is he? Probably. Shouldn't there be some, like, attachment to Viego building Bork? Like... Like some special effect or some shit. Yeah. I don't even think he has a voice line when he builds it, does he? I'd be surprised if he didn't. Does he have it? Disguise to sin, is it here? Oh god, don't fight yet. Diego's lore is still so weird to me, dude. Like, I feel like I've read it multiple times, and it's just like... It doesn't... Oh, dude, he has it. ...compel me. They can actually win. Chilzy wins. If something tragic doesn't happen. Oh. Oh, this... I, why is Dig going on them like this? They don't even have the, the flank at all. This doesn't really make much sense. She'll usually just fight. Go, 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 go. Gets hooked into oh, my the God. And he is oh. gone as shit. Big Aesol ult. It's over. Aesol is legit it's over. shitting on the men. It's over. It's all ogre, says Where's sneaky. the team? Where Clean him up! The team, says sneaky. Where's Luger? No balls. No balls. Wow, what you was legit? Dig's plan there? They that was stacked so up. early. You absolutely have the upper hand there. You've got the position they have to walk into. They have to stop the dragon. Just start hitting it with Cassio. Let him walk in and then go on him. Uh-oh. Oh, our moot. This looks pretty awkward. But for who? Yeah. Jensen's just getting tighted, dude. 
he can't hit. They're getting chased by the snake. Provides enough distance. CLG, they really want this dragon. They don't want to give the dragon soul. I heard Gadar, but I don't know why I misheard that. <laughs> what? <laughs> the caster. <laughs> he said something about a Gadar? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Maybe he did say it. I thought yeah, I maybe, I thought I clearly misheard. Barren territory for themselves. It was it was already waiting at the Sejuanio. Now Sejuanio is not. Wow, what a scuffed engage, man. They're just like actually Oh my man stacked. What the fuck? Holy shit. That's pretty cool looking. Wait, I, like I, didn't, I didn't know there was like the the little fucking meteorites. Oh, cool. PUV, you're a dinosaur. Well, not ideal for Dig. You really would have liked that soul. Man, I wonder what was making them feel so pressured there. Like that seems like such a like straightforward situation to play out by Dig, but they like giga choked it. I mean, you definitely have to make it awkward for Soul. Like, not give him a clean fucking five minute knockup. Oh, nice. Just hit it, man. Just fucking hit it. I mean, you have to force in this window for Dig. Yeah, I mean, you you have Cassio. Like, Cassio is one of the premier champions at just hitting the objective in their face and letting them run into you. Normally, it's not how you want to fight, but, like, Cassio's problem is always that she gets kited. Yeah. But And she has insane objective damage, so you literally just start hitting it and you force them to run into you. Like, they don't have Skies to send. Their support's dead. I think you just hit it. They kind of don't have, didn't have pressure from like mid top. It'd have been hard to walk in right there, but I think they could have. I think you legit just start slapping Baron's ass. The casters are talking about the execute threshold on the E, but it actually doesn't matter. It, it's so rare to kill somebody with the E execute. Is it Kobe talking about it? Yeah. Yeah, Kobe was saying that when I was talking to him. It's actually like, I wouldn't call it worthless, but it's not something you actually care about. The the, mm. the Q damage and the ulti radius is way more impactful. Oh, they waited for Aesol to farm up another. Dude, the, the other thing that people probably misunderstand is it doesn't execute objectives like Baron or Dragon. Because I, I didn't even know that. Like I had to fucking look it up, and I'm just like, I, I assumed it would. It's like, yeah, executes at this HP, but it literally doesn't. So, like, what's the timing between Aurelian Souls' big ultis at this point in the game? Like, well, because there's cannons every wave, he gets it faster because you get more dust per cannon. Yeah, but just like ballpark, like, is it like five minutes? Or no, no, it's way shorter. Like, you, say you got every wave. With cannon in it, uh -huh. I think it's about like six waves. How much do you get per wave? Uh, you get one Is per it one per shitter minion and five per cannon. Something like that, it might be three. I think it's okay. Like it, it's it's about that time. And like if you if you got six waves, you'd be real fucking close. And if you touched anybody, I see. Damn, that is. And then also, probably too fast. You like you can ult in that window too. Like yeah. you ult the second it comes back up, you won't have skies, and it'll come up when you have skies. Mm. So it'll be about like I'd say like three minutes, thirty seconds or so. It's probably skies window. It's pretty long. That's insane but compared to package. Yeah. And how much better it is. Like oh, okay. They oh they don't get the CC proper. Dang, th that seems like just like oh, a... He's hooked again? Disguise. Wow, oh, God! Oh, boy! Ooh. They didn't kill anybody, though. They got the Wait, GA DD, on... DD. It's over. But for who? <clears throat> Soul, watch this clean up. He's 1v4. <laughs> How did they lose that? What? No fucking shot. Someone threw that, for sure. 
I mean, you can kill them. They can't do anything. They they literally can't do this. He's gonna triple kill. Bro? Oh wait, that's Jensen behind him. Okay. Yeah, it's fine now. Jeez, that was tense. Yes. Yeah, dude. I mean, I feel like Dig haven't played this Casio Thresh combo enough because, like, you saw right there, they hooked Dokla, but then they didn't act. Like, it looked like he flayed him out of the Miasma or something. Oh, they just barely passed over it. This, this is the second hook here. Yeah. But even still, like, Dig wanting to hard engage into Gragas like this seems real weird. I feel like the only person you give a shit about is a soul going on a full tank gragas like what does that even do for you Ooh, this window is super bad for shield g i don't think they can win without a soul upgraded ult it was just the dragon and that is not enough it turns out yeah that was armut's pushing mid seals he's just gonna start it i mean what the fuck? It's just dead. Okay. What? Dig? Wow, that was a fucking heist. Dig, come on. There's no way they get that, bro. That was Dig fault. He is playing so weird around these objectives, dude. Yeah. Like, it's one thing if you want to just, like, push mid and say, fuck drag, like, you take it, and then we just take your base, but that's not what they did. They said, fuck drag, you can have it, and then we'll go over after, watch you take it, and escort you back to your base. Yep. It feels like Dig's just looking for ways to lose the game. It, this just happens when you lose too much. I think it's like you start like forgetting how to win and you just start trying to do everything in your power to lose. <laughs> like, like you see the other team making a huge mistake, like trying to contest that dragon and you just freak out. You're like, oh, fuck. Like, uh. yeah, let's just give it to him. Fuck it. Oh. I only. Oh, oh please, oh. please! You hooked fucking soul. Oh my it's god! Not gonna get any oh better. my god! Oh my god! No way! How did they not kill him there? What? What? They didn't chain CC. No damage. I'm so confused, bro. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> that fucking Greg's TP. <laughs> I thought it was Soul. And you said it's Gragas and I looked. <laughs> Jensen stacking up the Conqueror. Oh? Oh. They're gone. Wow. Wow. What another tragic game for Dig, bro. Like... I that mean, was a huge Renekton bounty they lost as well there. I, I think this window is entirely created around what we've already talked about, like their objective gameplay. They had a window to take soul. They gave it They're, to the enemy. They, they just play with no confidence. Like, How does he not die here, bro? Like, They have nothing? Or what? I don't know. I mean, uh, Sejuani all went in right before that. Was just nobody was ready for it? Uh, I mean, Arma went in. I mean, they, they didn't chain him to, like, not let him ult before he dies. And then he just got the ult up and didn't die. <laughs> Worst he of both worlds. He's fucking tanky. Yeah. Got three health items. Why does he have? He has four thousand health. Like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> yep. Connell and Jensen. No, there was a window before it. Okay, dig. 
Let's just be human here. Let's fucking walk into the bot side jungle. Baron, Andra. Actually, they spawn at the exact same time. That doesn't make this a little bit more awkward. Oh, he's got the Giga ult again. Yeah, dude, that, that thing is such a low cooldown. Do you get stacks toward your next one when you drop this guy's descent, or is it only if you do like the limp one you get stacks? Wait, hold on. Oh, baby. Oh, my. It's over. All right. It's GG. Unlucky. What was the question? If you get stacks, when? Do you get stacks off the Giga ulti? Oh. Off it hitting? I don't think so. Yeah. But maybe. I, I'm actually not sure on that. Not sure. That's crazy, dude. I feel like it doesn't, but... Yeah. I mean, it, it's a very short window. It, it, it's entirely because of the cannons. Mm. Like, cannons every wave just makes him get it so much faster. What a tragedy for Dig, bro. Wait. They could steal this. Nah, it's over. I eat. It's over, it's done. No steal. All right, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, it's over now. Bro, they had this game. Yeah. How like, many, like, legit they, mega losses do they need? <laughs> they so would have won if they just... When they got that Baron, they just got that drag. Like, CLG legit couldn't fight that drag. I mean, they, the, I would say the one before was way worse than that one. That was awkward as fuck, too, yeah. Oh, wait. Huh? But, uh, who are we camping for? <laughs> oh, he's waiting. Oh, fuck, he's here. <laughs> oh, shit, run! On paper, this roster doesn't look bad. What's the issue? I don't fucking know, dude. Well, they didn't have Ignar for first three or four weeks, right? So, I think they technically didn't get practice with their real roster until later. And then, I don't know, like it just snowballs, I guess. Like, sp yeah, Spawn was definitely not doing well. I wouldn't say why he, that was why he was losing, because, I mean, they're using Tomo. And they're losing here as well. But yeah, I, I mean, I think they. It's hard to say. They just do weird things and lose. Yeah. Like they've been in good situations in plenty of their games, but then they just find a way to lose it. I feel like a, a lot of dig is like they, they miss opportunities where they like could be doing more. Like we've seen a lot of times where like they could go for a dive and they don't. But then, I mean, this game, on that, I feel like on that fourth dragon, they had, like, such a good setup. CLG had to walk into them. And they just kind of, like, went for this, like, really limp engage. And they keep committing to tank Gragas. Like, killing him matters. Yeah. Okay, they're giving you a window. They just use the skies to send for fun. That wasn't skies, but... Fuck you. That was just... What is it? Fallen Star? Falling Star? Full build ASOL, 900 AP, almost 600 dust. Yeah. Is there any other, like, team-wide knock-up in the game? That's actual CC, not just the Gragas ult? Galio ult's probably the closest thing to that. Mm. Yeah. And those aren't, like, real CC. Malphite's tiny ass fucking AOE. Galio's is big. Comparable Doesn't in size. Too long though. Yeah, duration nowhere close. Because Aesol's is like long enough that it CCs them and you can get the follow up. Galio, it's like kind of too short to follow up unless you like are already shooting your shit. Yeah. Wait, now CLG are on Soul Point. Holy fuck, that's a lot of Hextech drags. Oh, I think we should all stack up for Skies to send again. Let's see oh. if it works this time. Oh, Tomo! Oh, yeah, he, God, he almost killed play, Soul. Whoa, I mean, wait. It, it was still good. It was still yeah. good. It was really good. They're going to get dragged. Does he know? Nah, but we surely can't throw this one, guys. I sealed you. actually throwing. 
I mean, this this shit's dead. This is soul. We're dig. Okay, okay. Armut is pretty fucked, I imagine. No, he's okay. Oh! Wow. Wow, what a weird situation. All right, they get to Dragon Soul. This would have been pretty good like 20 minutes ago, but, you know, here we are. Actually fucking close game. Back to Baron. Yeah, what even happened here? Like, no one was near for the solo? Did you just they troll go in? They're and engage from Dragon's again. Dude, oh. Tomo Hero played the fuck out of this. Look at this shit. Yeah, he flashed on him, blasted him. Oh, nut. That was really smart by Tomo, actually. Goddamn. I thought they were just incredibly fucked. Yeah. And that still was just a 50-50, by the way. Like, Contracts was there. Yeah. Oh. This this is a window. He doesn't it's have dead. the thing. Just it's send dead. it. Just fucking send it. We get it. Now what? Now what? Did we talk about what happens next? Kill the fucking soul! Kill the fucking soul! Oh, they can't, they can't. Oh, God. Why can't they kill the fucking soul? Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, well. Oh. Oh, oh, oh hold up. Oh, Tomo? Wait, Tomo? wait. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy shit, he's going giga! Wait, he just deleted them. What? Oh, my God, Tomo's hard carrying these veterans. <laughs> Dude, it looked like a fat-ass cleanup for CLG. And then they got cleaned. Dude, that was like, I think that was an Infernal that just absolutely crit the shit out of everyone. Probably. What the fuck? God damn, Tomo's going hard in the paint right now. Truly. Is this... They got the wagon. Who got the shutdown on the wagon? Does... This There's only like another 700 bounty, right? After the first one. Yo, I think it's game. Maybe not. I mean, 10 seconds on carries. I... They're getting stalled. Oh, it looks over. It's over. Yeah, it's done. Let's fucking go, dude! Whoa! Dig win! Holy shit! I'm pulling back real what quick. What a game! I'm checking that fight. Holy shit, bro. I'm watching. Lose with full build. Oh my insult. god. Dude, yeah, it, it was Renekton and fucking Aphelios ult. That went back way too far. They actually got deleted. Dude, Dig is so uncool. Like, you know they had no fucking plan for what to do after this Baron, by the way. Like, <laughs> it's actually chaos. Like, they're so split. Yeah. Holy shit. Okay, so I'm going to watch this in half speed. I could not tell what the fuck was happening. Thresh insta dies. Santorin insta dies. Luger flashes in. What the hell happened to Rakan? What happened to Zaya? Wait. Holy fuck, bro. That was so weird. Did Jensen hit a fatty stun? Oh, he did hit a stun on Asol. In Viego. Be back. All right, Sneaky. I gotta head out. Oh, you gotta go do something? Yeah. You're a little busy right now? Okay. I feel that. I totally feel that, my dude. All right. GG's. I will see you tomorrow. Mm, yeah, about one minute. Okay. All, All right, right dude. see ya. Peace.